today's video, we'll be doing a top 10 on one of the most stacked positions inside of the game, the wide receivers. Let's get right into that number 10. Before we get into the video, if you guys did not know, I do stream on Twitch almost every single day. I have, I'm trying to start promoting it a little bit more on YouTube. I know a lot of people over here don't know that I stream. I do every single day besides Sundays. We use all the brand new cards. You can talk to me about the top 10s, all of that. And I'll see you guys over there. But anyways, let's get into this number 10. To start off at number 10, we do have Jerry Rice. And this is one that you don't really see much out there. And I don't think it's because he's a bad card. Got definitely still a top 10 receiver meaning he's still very good there's a lot of cards that aren't in this top 10 that are amazing and definitely very good and can still play on god squads that's just how stacked this position group is but jerry rice he's one point like i think two mil minimum right now i think i clicked the most expensive one this is 1.4 mil jerry rice 97 speed meaning powered up he'll get 99 speed you don't even have to power him up if you got your strat cards he has good stats all around he'll have all 99 catching stats all he will have 299 route running stats and a 98 short so he's amazing across the board and then after the catch some tr good ch uh, change direction there at 97 not really much run blocking but he does have 99 break tackle as well but as you guys know he does come with playmaker built into him I don't know it depends how good you are with playmaker you don't have to use it as well if you power him up he'll still get the route tech for cheap he's still a really good receiver obviously six foot two it just shows how crazy like this is a, a very very good card and he's only number 10. number nine we do have randy moss and it kind of feels weird putting him this low on the list but that is how stacked the wide receivers are like i just said with jerry rice here he's another guy that is gonna hit 99 speed for you obviously statistically across the board he'll only have two 99s where jerry rice had i think five out of his six uh main wide receiver stats were 99s he only has two out of the six but at the end of the day he is six foot four and i personally i don't know about you guys i think a lot of people as well will be taking that plus two in height randy moss always plays amazing in this game as well i love this card when he first came out i think he's still very good like i said if you're a budget i think this card is under 180k as well which is i think he's even cheaper than that i don't even know how much I clicked the expensive one, I think. But yeah, Randy Moss, we all know how good he truly is. When we take a look down here as well, not really much run blocking, but he does have solid break tackle as well. I don't know. It depends. Would you take the route runner with a little bit better stats or the randy moss just much taller for eight we do have calvin johnson and not last video but the video before that he was number one on this list that just shows how fast he's kind of moving i do these videos like every two and a half weeks so it kind of rotates pretty fast especially when we have a lot of wide receivers dropping in the game he is now very down i wouldn't say like this means he's bad i just think this is how stacked everybody else is but 99 speed he is six foot five so he's basically randy moss but just bigger and when you look at him obviously very similar stats to randy moss he's gonna have a 99 spec and 99 deep just like randy he's just bigger right he's 25 pounds no 26 pounds heavier and then he's two or one inch high, uh taller i can't even talk this morning but when you look at him down here as well really good break tackle much better run blocker as well calvin's definitely better and the only thing that sucks about calvin is that he has this awful 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 archetype physical is definitely the worst archetype Number seven, we do have Brandon Marshall, and Brandon Marshall is basically Calvin Johnson, right? He's like almost the same card, the same exact height, literally the same exact weight within like one or two, three pounds, whatever it is. He'll have 99 speed for you when you power him up as well. I know some people in the last video said that they don't, they only have one strat card. Obviously, if you only have one strat card, go Calvin, right? But if you have both, I'm mainly do these videos because I feel like most most people this late in the year have both of them, right? But this guy, he'll have 98 medium, he'll have 90 or he'll have 99 medium. 99 deep 99 spec so he's a little bit better they're hitting one more 99 he's a much better run blocker 94 run block is insane it's one of the best in the game that's not a golden ticket actually i think he is the best for a wide receiver in the game that's not a golden ticket he also have 99 break tackle for you really good change direction brandon marshall's an absolute beast i definitely think he's one of the best non-golden ticket wide receivers if not the best number six we do have josh gordon and josh gordon is an insane card like i said i feel like he's like this whole top 10 is insane it is literally insane you can't go wrong with any of these cards you guys could see across the board he's literally 99 in every single stat besides the deep the catching obviously a 98 as well you'll be okay with it being at a 98 the deep being at 97 you'll be okay there he also does have 99 run blocking the guy who made this card did boost the run blocking he has amazing break tackle on 98 as well i don't know what else they boosted maybe it was the route running they boosted i think I don't know. I'm not too sure, but he has really good change of direction as well. Josh Gordon, an all-around great card. He's a route runner. He's six foot three, gets 99 speed. 
like I said, this just shows how stacked this next six is. Number five, we do have DK Metcalf, and he's literally the almost exact same card as Josh Gordon. Like, the exact same card, right? Same height, same weight. They're both going to get 99 speed for you. They have, both have 99s across the board right here. He does have better route running in the catching, obviously, than 99 as well. But when you take a look down here, he is worse in the run blocking, which I know a lot of people might want instead. But I know a lot of people like that this, uh, DK is much better after the catch with 99 trucking. He has 99 and break tackle like i said these kind of guys are too tied for me i i personally like josh gordon more i felt like if i put josh i don't know like like i said they're very much tied for me i don't know it's it's a weird spot obviously it says physical but he's going to he's gonna get everything for cheap they're literally the same exact card if you want more of a run blocker go get josh gordon if you want a guy that's better after the catch go get dk metcalf number four we do have plaques right here i absolutely love this card i actually just tried him out recently 99 speed on any theme team right he is six foot five i think that this guy is amazing right i just think the next card you'll see you'll see once we get to it this is not writing him off right like this guy is a six foot five 230 pound wide receiver he has all three of his catching stats at 99 his short is 95 which is still okay but his medium and deep is absolutely amazing as well when you get down here he does have 99 run blocking 99 trucking and 99 break tackle 99 carrying as well i mean plax is an absolute maxed out card it feels kind i don't know i kind of want to put him over the guy next to this but there's a reason and why let me show you our number three at number three, we have Andre Johnson. And I, like I said, this card is super valuable to a team, right? He'll hit 99 speed for you when powered up. I would power him up as well. I am not a big fan of Bruiser. It says Bruiser built in. When you power up cards that have built in abilities, you can take off the Bruiser. And guess what? You can still use the route tech, which is one AP. He's the only wide receiver in the game with one AP route tech. The only wide receiver, obviously there's Vernon Davis, but that's a tight end. So we're not gonna include him in this conversation. But Andre Johnson, when you look across, like I said, saving AP is the biggest thing in this game. If you could save AP here, you can go use that one AP on, you know, deep out of Lee. You could use that in the offensive lineman ability, another quarterback accuracy ability or something, but he's amazing. 99s across the board. His uh, short route running will be a 98. You have 99 medium, 99 deep. All of his catching will be 99. And then when you look here, he also, also has above 90 run block as well at 92 he has 98 break tackle 99 trucking this card is literally a golden ticket and he gets one ap route tech i mean seriously like this card is literally insane and number two we do have colin johnson and this has been one of my favorite cards in the game i do think him and our number one are like 1a and 1b still in the game he is six foot six so he's basically just taller right he's six foot six that is absolutely huge all of his stats across the board aren't as high as a lot of these other guys right at 99 but like as you most you guys know this is a threshold game although he's not hitting a lot of 99s he still plays amazing this has been one of the best cards i've used all year and also he does have 99 run blocking 99 break tackle 99 carrying 99 trucking 98 change of direction so he's amazing after the catch he's six foot six he's gonna grab everything on the sideline he's gonna make a lot of plays for you out there height obviously matters the most in this game as all of us know playing this game it is now june we all know height is a big big deal colin johnson brings it. he's definitely a top three receiver in the game and at number one i still have ed too tall jones i still think this card has been one of the best cards i've used all year i've seen people say they don't like i've even seen people so this is like what i know it's like starting to get a little crazy i've seen people say the cornerback ed is the worst corner in the game even at a 99 when he's maxed out and literally every stand is the best in the box i think people just like love to hate on ed too tall i don't know what it is but this card like i I said everybody that i've seen that's been very good in the game or streaming it or whatever youtubers they all have ed there's a reason they all have ed ed is amazing he's been my best card all year i absolutely love this card super fun as well although he only has 98 speed he is six foot nine 270 pounds he's gonna break a lot of tackles for you he has a lot of 99 stats right there the short route running like for example, I never really noticed it. Like on drags, I never noticed him to get bagged. Uh, also, zig routes, he does amazing for me there. Although it's only a 92. I, like I said, it's a really a threshold game. If they're above 90, they should be okay. And also, at two tall Jones, they didn't give him any run blocking which I haven't really noticed him to be awful at, I'm going to be honest, but at the end of the day, we would have loved that to be higher, but he has really good break tackle, like we said, would come with the weight as well. Really good trucking, really, really good carrying. I mean, 
Like I said, that too tall Jones slander is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. I think he's one of the best cards in the game on defense as well. Like I said, I once I heard people starting to slander the defensive side of the Ed Tutal Jones corner card, that's when I knew people had some sort of like, you know, thing against this Ed Tutal Jones card. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Make sure to comment down below which wide receivers are you are rocking. Right now, I am rocking Ed. I'm also using Andre Johnson and I can't. Colin Johnson's my third as well. So technically, my top three in my list, I'm actually using as well. No bias. Like I said, I've used everybody. I think these are the top three wide receivers in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.